Hello? Hello, I'm back with another Halloween decor haul. In case you guys missed part one, I will list it for you in the description box below as well as somewhere on the screen. There might be a part three, not too sure yet. You're definitely gonna get a decorate with me video and I might just show you extra little bits and bobs that I picked up in that one. Today I'm gonna go over stuff that I found at HomeSense and Michaels. I didn't go too wild at Michaels because it hurts my heart, but mostly my wallet to pay full price at Michaels. I feel like their stuff is super cute, but it's way overpriced, so I like to wait for the sales. I did get a couple things with coupons, but I know I'm gonna go back. I'm filming this at like the beginning of September. I don't know when this is gonna go up, but I just wanted to note that two years in a row now, they're starting to roll out Christmas stuff in September. There is another war on Halloween this year. I don't know what's going on, but I don't like it. And by the way, I could not find any cute spooky mugs at HomeSense this year. I know Home Goods in the States has just a ton of cute stuff. You guys have an abundance of greatness in the US. Yeah, let's get into it. I'm gonna start out with this gorgeous skull serving platter. It is made from acacia wood. I obviously see myself using this as a serving platter, but it's gonna look really nice on display, rested up against my wall in the kitchen. So super stoked about that. I found a couple cute takeout and leftover containers. This one says no tricks, just treats. The second one has witchy legs and boots all around it with candy corns and candy and stars. These say that they are dishwasher, microwave, and freezer safe and they are eco-friendly. So that's a bonus. You know that I can never have enough spatulas or kitchen towels. I found these very cute spatulas. There's a large that says bake at your own risk and then the little one just has a skull on the front. These match that stack of mugs that I got last year that say drink at your own risk and they have similar skulls all over them so they're gonna look cute kind of nearby. I went a little bit wild in the kitchen towel section. I always do. I can never have enough kitchen towels and when they start rolling out the spooky stuff I just know that I'm not gonna see them again so I just fill my cart. I got a witchy set that says you say witch like it's a bad thing and it's got witches and brooms and witch hats. Another witchy set that just has has pumpkins and witch hats and spell books, spider webs, candles and brooms. A set that says evil spirits and it just has a bunch of spooky drinks on one towel and the other one's just covered in spooky drinks. I really, really like these. I think they're adorable. And these ones aren't really spooky, but they fit my Tim Burton aesthetic. These came in a set of four. I already have two out in the kitchen right now. And I just think these are perfect for year round. Last year, I incorporated little pops of orange throughout the house and I really liked how that looked. I'm gonna continue on with that theme this year. I found this really cute ceramic canister. It's bright orange and it says witch's brew in that drippy, slimy font. I'm gonna keep this in the kitchen and I'm gonna put our coffee grains in it. I got this orange ceramic brie baker because it has a cute little witch hat on top. This is meant for brie, but I actually have been using it to make ooey gooey keto chocolate chip cookies, large ones that Chris and I can share and I top it with three scoops of keto ice cream. It is the perfect size for a shareable deep dish cookie. Don't really know what I'm gonna do with this tray. I saw it, I threw it in my cart, I had to have it. I was scared that I wasn't gonna see it again. I mean, I could keep it on display in the kitchen. It's cute, it's in a coffin shape, it has a skeleton on it, it's got a pumpkin, it's just all of the things that I love. I'm always tempted by the plates and bowls and serving platters around this time of year, like the really spooky ones with skulls and I think there's like newlywed ones that have skeletons. Those are all super cute, but I've never seen them sold in a set. And a lot of them aren't cute enough to buy individually to make a set out of. I ended up just getting two small plates and two small bowls. These were the cuter plates that I saw in store and I haven't seen them since. They have a really detailed border with spider webs and spiders and skulls. And in the middle, there's this beautiful haunted house. And the second one has the same border. The center's just bats. And I also got a couple small bowls which are apothecary themed. These were the cutest out of the bunch. I especially like this one because it's very detailed and I love those eyeballs. This one's pretty cool too. Again, super random. I do like to collect this type of stuff but if it's just hidden away I don't really get to enjoy it so I, I need to find a way to display these. I was humming and hawing over this cake stand. I ended up just getting it because I knew that if I didn't I would regret it. It's by the same 
brand of those uh, decorative plates that I just showed you. It is two tier and it's a spider web design. Last year, I completely ran out of room for my spooky cupcakes on the cake stand that I got from Michael's. I felt like this might be redundant because I already kind of have a spider web cake stand, but it's two tier and it's solid ceramic. It'll hold more cupcakes and that is the most important thing. I'll show you it when I put it together and um, display it on my countertop. Pottery Barn has these wine glasses and the stem is either skeletal hands cupping the glass or it's like a skeleton holding the glass on top of its head. Anyway, they're super cute. You guys are always sliding into my DMs with them. They're very expensive as well. And I don't remember if it was last year or the year before, I found dupes of them at HomeSense. Well, this year I hit the freaking jackpot because I found them again and I can add them to my existing collection. So I got this set of two of the skeleton holding the glass and I found these two, which I was so excited about. They also had stemless ones. I'm not like a huge stemless wine glass kind of gal. I really do like a nice long stem. Those are gonna look awesome in the kitchen. Moving on to some bathroom stuff, I hardly ever Ever find any cute stuff for the bathroom. This is my first year that I have seen spooky hand towels and spooky soap dispensers. So as soon as I laid eyes on them, I threw them in my cart. I got this set of spiderweb bathroom towels, which are adorable. Black and white with a cute little pop of orange along the bottom. And then these ones are just uh, black and white with little ghosts on them. How cute are these little ghosts? Can't wait to put them in the bathroom. I got a couple soap dispensers. This one I am very excited about. It's witchy, it's beautiful. I've been looking for something like this for a couple years now. It is just a crystal ball. It's got this beautiful ornate base. The crystal ball kind of has a cloudy, majestic look to it and it's just got a witch on the front. And the second soap dispenser is a haunted house and I think I'm gonna keep this in the kitchen. The detail on this one is incredible. It is so cute. I love the purple trim with the orange windows, little pops of green. If you look really closely along the bottom, there's little tombstones with little pumpkins all around the base. It's just so cute. I can't wait to display it. Chris really has a thing for snow globes. He collects them around Christmas time, so when he saw these spooky ones, he had to have them. These are his picks. This first one is just a bunch of witchy books stacked on top of one another with a little black cat sitting on top of a pumpkin with a moon in the background. Very detailed, very cute. I especially like the stack of witchy books. And this one has a black cat atop a broom and the base is orange and black houses. Again, very detailed. They both play uh, spooky music, which is cute too. This vase isn't really spooky at all. I just thought I'd mention it because I purchased it at the same time. It's just black and white, totally fits the aesthetic of our place. And it actually looks really nice with these um, artificial sunflowers that I got from Michael's thinking that I would finally do that skull bouquet that I saw a couple years ago on Pinterest. I think I shared it with you guys last year and I was gonna do it and then I never did it. Well, anyway, I picked up artificial sunflowers this year with the intention of making them, but I kind of like the look of these in their natural state. I might still do it. If I do it, it'll be in a vlog. I'll keep you posted, but I really like this vase. I got not one, not two, but three sets of spooky pillows. Why? Because I hardly ever see them in Canada. I've seen really nice pillows in the States at Home Goods. We hardly ever get any cute ones here. So when I saw them, I had to have them. They're in my living room. They're just black and white. One set is black with white skulls. The second set is a more rectangular shape, black with white ghosts. And the third set is that same shape, white background, black skulls. Louie has been loving them. And I moved all of my gray pillows down stairs because the couch was starting to get overrun by pillows. I had three things on my Michael's wish list. One of them was this haunted house. I got it with a 30% off coupon and I think I'm gonna put it in the same spot that I put last year's haunted house and make like a haunted village of sorts. Um, we shall see. It's just adorable. What else can I say? The second thing on my wish list was this candelabra. I believe they had these last year and I missed out. I got two of them, of course, because I have to get everything in pairs. Thinking of displaying these either in the living room with my haunted houses or on the dining room table. On my wish list, which I have not yet gotten, are spooky trees, because I can never have enough spooky trees. Was it last year or the year? I, the last few years are just like meshing together. You know which spooky trees I'm talking 
talking about. I showed them to you last year. They're kind of sparkly. They have little bats on them. And the last thing that I picked up from Michaels is this cute little sign that I think we're either gonna keep at the front door or in the kitchen. Haunted house this way, spooky street that way, Boo Boulevard this way. Adorable. I'm just loving orange more and more. Alrighty, that completes this haul. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. I love everything I found. I am so happy that I grabbed everything that I did when I did because it's Christmas time up in this bitch. Is it like this where you live? Please let me know in the comments. Are they just rolling out Christmas a little bit too early? It's never too early for Halloween, but I do believe it's too early for Christmas when we haven't even celebrated Halloween yet. If I do end up picking up more stuff, which I kind of have a feeling I'm gonna go to Michael's and take advantage of those sales. I'll share everything in my decorate with me vlog. Thank you guys as always for watching, for subscribing, for staying subscribed, and I'll see you in my next one. Okay, love you, bye.